Okay, today we'll be opening up and comparing these two cartridge oil filters. This K&N oil filter, number PS7020, and this EcoGuard oil filter, number X5608. And I got these two oil filters from a very generous viewer whose name is Charles Bridgetech from California. Thanks, Charles. These oil filters fit Charles's 2019 Toyota Sienna SE. Yep, the one with the 3.5 liter V6 engine. And these two filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the K&N. We'll start with the box. There's not really too much information on this box, but here's some replacement filters. List of replacement filters. And you got a website right here. That's pretty much it. I mean, you can freeze this if you want to read all that, but yeah. So let's take a look at the filter. So here we got filter number. I'm guessing this is a day code. It looks like it'd be January 25th, 2015. Made in Korea. And I'm not sure if they still make these oil filters. But um, they might have gone to a, a different version, different numbers on them. But um, here's the plastic. There's no center core in here. You just see the plastic there. Okay. And this filter has 54 pleats. It's a synthetic blend media. And I couldn't find the micron rating on this filter. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the EcoGuard oil filter. And here's some filters also that it crosses over to. List of filters. And really no information on this box either. They got a website here. And that's about it. So let's open up this filter, see what it's K. It says made in China. I'm thinking that's a day code, but I'm not sure. 0418231540. Got the plastic end caps, no center core. Looks a little bit better than the KN as it the pleats, the pleats are nicely spaced, kind of tighter here. It's got a seam right here, and it looks like it's I don't know, I'll have to see what it lo looks like when it's opened up, but it looks like a pretty good seam. Okay, it might be overlapped in there. And this filter, the EcoGuard has 47 pleats. It's a cellulose media with a micron rating of 97% efficiency for removing particles as small as 30 microns. All right. Here's both filters. And... I'm going to show how the bypass valve works on these two filters, but first, let me get their uh, weights and width. So we'll get the weight. K&N, 26.2 grams. EcoGuard, 42.2 grams. Okay, just this side. Okay, so here's the filter cover. That these filters go on to but before i go get to that part there's a i'll put some pictures up what this looks like it's got a um plug right here that goes in screws right in there you can see the threads and then when you're going to remove these there's another plug that you put in here you know because the filter mounts this way and there's a little plastic piece that will go in here and remove all the oil out of it and I'll I'll put a video of that up right now 3 8 inch drive extension to remove the plug from the oil filter housing and insert the plastic tool that came with the new filter the oil filter is very hard to unscrew and you must have the special wrench to do it pull out the filter cartridge and install a new o-ring in the groove make sure it's not too far down on the threads install the filter housing back in the truck and torque it to 19 foot-pounds 
Install a new O-ring on the plug and torque it to 9 foot-pounds. Pour in 6... Okay, so I took that video from a fellow YouTuber who goes by Lab Coat Paul. He fixes scooters, cars, and motorcycles. I'll put a link to his channel down below in the descriptions. Okay, so how the bypass valve works on this filter is... Put it, you install a new filter in here. This one goes kind of tight. Okay. And if it goes into bypass mode, what it does is it pushes on this. So you can see this moves up and down. And there's a little valve down there. There's a valve in here, which has a setting of 16 to 22 PSI. And that's how it works for, in this instance, for this Toyota, uh, Toyota Sienna. But, you know, they're not all like this. Sometimes they just, they're just playing caps. But this is like a nice heavy-duty part right here. And, yeah, it just goes in like that. And if it's got to go into bypass mode, if it's, if it's clogged up, it'll actually push on that and it'll open up the valve down there. And the oil will come right up here and go into your engine. So that's pretty cool. You know, they got a special tool to put this on with. There's an O-ring that goes right here. No, actually, right, right here. There's an O-ring that goes in here for the plug. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right. Okay, and I almost forgot the width of these filters. Okay, so the K&N, 2.57 inches wide. EcoGuard, 2.36 inches wide. Okay, let me cut these two filters open and stretch them out and see what they look like under a microscope and see what the square inches of filter media there is. Be right back. Okay, so here are both filters all stretched out. And the K&N filter is 73 inches long. The EcoGuard filter, 74 inches long. Okay, so let's get the thickness of this filter media. K&N filter, 0.72 millimeters thick. EcoGuard filter, 0.84 millimeters thick. Okay, so here's the filtering side, back side. And if we take a look at these filters under a microscope, they're going to look like, probably do a pretty equal job of filtering. The EcoGuard may be a little bit better. It's got, it seems to have a little less uh, holes, holes in there, you know, where you can see the light coming through. But let's take a look at that picture. So in my opinion, they, they would probably do a pretty equal job of filtering. But you get about 13 square inches or more filter media with the K&N. And like most cartridge oil filters, there's not really much to them. You know, you got the plastic end caps. And that's about it, you know. So what do you guys think about these two filters? And again, I want to thank Charles for sending me these two cartridge oil filters. And I also want to add that Charles has a YouTube channel. It's called Charles Bridge Tech. He does tests on electronics and flashlights. You might want to check his channel out. I'll put a link to his channel down below in the descriptions. And with that being said, I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if so you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. I forgot to mention the seam on this EcoGuard oil filter. This isn't a regular glued seam. It almost seems like it's... If you look at it... 
We'll look at it up close here. It almost looks like it's all one piece, but it must be like laminated somehow. Yeah, it looks pretty strong. You know, compared to usually what they have on filters is the glued seam. You can tell this is just the glued seam. See, it comes apart. Let's try this one. Well, it does come apart. See that? It's really, uh, I think it's put together pretty good. Oh well.